need something to spice up my unboxing videos. Perfect. I shall name you Pixel and you'll be my unboxing companion. Mainly because I don't have any real friends. <laughs> so you've seen the title of the video. Today, we're going to be unboxing this. Oh, I am so happy. I love bags. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, it's another bag. It's almost like this bag isn't big enough. So yes, today we're going to be unboxing the Oculus Quest. No, I just picked this up from Game in Trowbridge. And I want to give a massive thank you to Kirsten. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below to her YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe. Let's try and get her to 100 subscribers. But I'm very excited about this. I'm going to say right now, this box is tiny compared to the original Quest. I love the white and lilac look it's got going on. It's very pretty. That's a lie, I bought it from game. So of course you've got all your jargon on here. You've got attention, chez certain persona. They release persona in VR? Read and follow safety and warranty guide. <laughs> I'm never going to look at it. The sign is the most interesting bit. It's just cardboard. <laughs> Inside the box, VR headset, two touch controllers, two AA batteries, which apparently last forever, so that's going to be exciting. Power adapter, glasses spacer, which is going to be important seeing as I wear glasses, and a charging cable. Apparently it's really, really short. So what I did was pick up this. This cable is a USB 3.0 to USB-C. Now this cable allows for Oculus Link, and it's five meters long. Oculus is currently selling their cable for around £89, which I think is absolutely bloody ridiculous. This cost me 35 and it does everything that the Oculus cable does. So yes, we're going to be playing Oculus Link games. I'll be leaving a link in the description below for that as well if you want to be able to play Link on the cheap. So on the back, you have games that aren't even released yet. You've got <laughs> Star Wars Tales from Galaxy's Edge. I, I don't think that's out. I checked last night. The Climb 2 definitely isn't out. That's quite a way off. That isn't out. That's out. Well, that's positive. <laughs> and Echo VR, I'm not sure. I think that is. I think that's free as well, which is kind of interesting. Next level hardware. A blazing fast processor and ultra realistic graphics put you in the center of the action. Easy setup. Open the box and jump right into VR. No PC, console, wires, or external sensors needed. Apart from the wire that you need to charge it with because it's probably going to be dead in the box. <laughs> Backwards compatible. Blast, slash, and spin your way through the Oculus Quest content library. And I'm going to say right now, the Quest library is fantastic and I have quite a few Oculus games already. I have Super Hot and I have Drunken Bar Fight, which is amazing. And I can't wait to play it on here. And yes, there may be a video of that at some point. Right, I'm going to open this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I spent about 10 minutes trying to pick my way <laughs> to the cellophane and, and then I noticed that. Yeah, great. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna say right now that the original Oculus Quest box was a little bit more fancy. It wasn't cardboard. It was um, kind of this really nice, almost felt like leather. It was really cool. This is a cardboard box, but they have dropped the price by a hundred pounds and you're getting a way better system here. So that's kind of understandable. You're only gonna be really seeing this box once. Oh, we got some ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Wow, really bloody ahead of their time they were. This is, I, I need to get a good thumbnail here. Give me a second, hang on. Like, like that, maybe aim it up a bit. I don't know, like this. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna snapshot that because why the bloody hell not? Oh my God, <laughs> okay, ooh. Oh, that feels really nice. Right, let's take the head, or do I take the headset out first or the controllers? Right, let's take out the new touch controllers because apparently these are bigger than the originals and I will say right now, it definitely feels chunkier. Um, that's not a bad thing. I like having all this room for my thumb here. You see that? There's a lot more room there. Um, analog stick, is the analog stick a little bit shorter? It feels shorter. But that could just be the size difference. It kind of dwarfs the uh, the buttons now. Yeah, the triggers feel nice. I'll, I'll give you a trigger sound test. Yeah, so it sounds quite nice. At the end of the day, they do exactly the same thing. So people with bigger hands are going to love this. I'm not sure about people with smaller hands. Um, 
These might feel a little bit big, because even in my hands, which I would say are medium sized, these definitely are quite beefy. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I've broken it already. Right, now, already, that is so much lighter. Is that it? Wow. Seeing as I'm gonna be using this as a PC VR, as well as, of course, the Oculus Quest VR stuff. Also, I'm gonna be playing PC games wirelessly with virtual desktop, and I may do a video on that at some point. But this is gonna be amazing. The fact it's so small, it really feels tiny in the hand. Like, they've done a fantastic job here. To give you an example, I've put a uh, DVD case here. Well, it's Chameleon on PC. Highly recommend it. Good old games. How happy you put it on your store, eh? As you guys can see, it's tiny. It literally fits on there. And it's not even that much taller. Does it go on pixel? It, it does. It fits on pixel. Are we so happy about that? Also, it does come with this. This is the glasses um, spacer. Um, so I'm going to probably be using this, um, seeing as I do wear glasses. So on here, it does say, move lenses left or right to find clearest view. Um, now, I think there are three different stages now, as opposed to having a slider. So inside here, you can actually um, move the lenses, and I don't want to be too hard with this, but uh, yeah, as you guys can see, you've got different settings. So you've got one, two, three, you see that? I'm going to stick it back to two because I have an eye distance of 66, so I am almost perfect for two. Right, I'm going to try this thing on and tell you how it feels. So, as you can see, it, it, it fits. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I'm looking. It's really bloody weird. Uh, am I looking here? Probably. Hello, you sexy biscuits. You wanted a face reveal. Here it is. I will say it feels okay. I'm going to have to mess around with the strap to make it a little bit more comfy. But my glasses do fit in here, so I may not even need the glasses spacer inside here. Although it does make your glasses really steamed up, so I'm going to take this off for a second. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm so close to the camera, hello. I wanted to give you an idea of what's possible with the Oculus Quest wirelessly. Because yes, I am playing this wirelessly with virtual desktop, and that is crazy. I'm gonna say right now, the screen is really good. I'm able to make out every single detail on the gun. Now, of course, I sound a bit far away, and that's because, yes, I am. I haven't got my mic set up yet, but, what I will be doing very, very soon is getting a mic that can clip on to my headset. So, if I was to look over here and fire my gun, that works flawlessly. Also, I can get out my massive pit boy. I'm hoping you can't see the uh, boundary. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I do have plenty of room. I just have to be in this corner of the room to record audio. I do have all the way over there. So I'm gonna walk over there and I'll show you how much room I have. Okay, so walk over here. That's really big. Um, I think I've got a little alcove here as well. There you go. I'm in an alcove. Okay, right. <laughs> so you get the idea. It's um, quite a big area I've got to walk around in in my room, which is part of the reason I wanted this room. Um, right, let's have a walk around. I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can walk and face the microphone at the same time. Um, and we can actually look around. So we've got sanctuary here, very fancy. It's nice. I can see all the trees and all their branches. Very cool. It's Codsworth. Hello, Codsworth. How's it going? Very fancy eyes you have there, good sir. How do I talk to you? Um, Codsworth. Oh, there you go. and as you can see, our geraniums are still the envy of Sanctuary Hill. Yes, they are. They're very fancy. Um, let's, uh, let's, can I pick up this? Is that a thing? Because this game is um, kind of limited, unfortunately, compared to, oh, <laughs> other VR games. <laughs> you aren't able to do as, as much crazy stuff. Oh, I do have a jump, though. Boingy, boingy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's that over there. Oh, guys, I am so excited about this. Being able to play this wirelessly, opens up so many doors. Playing Blade and Sorcery without wires on the Quest 2 is going to be absolutely incredible. I am so excited about this. I may be a bit short. I'm noticing I'm getting enthralled, enthralled, encased in this uh, 
foliage, which it normally isn't the case. Also, let's see how big I am compared to this car. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit small. So let's take a look at the last thing that's in the box here. This is going to be the cable and plug. So you get this, which I'm guessing is um, the paperwork for it. Um, <laughs> I'll probably read that, it's okay. But of course you also get a uh, plug, which is really, really nice. So it's always good to have USB plugs, especially ones like this that I think are fast charging, right? I'm pretty sure that these um, charge a little bit faster than your normal Poundland plugs, so that's good. Um, and of course, you also have a USB-C cable in here. Now, I was gonna say, I'm probably not gonna use this, but it's USB-C only. I didn't notice that. That's kind of annoying, <laughs> because my PC doesn't have a USB-C slot. Um, so that's interesting. They should have included this with it. It probably wouldn't have fitted in the box though. But yes, everything you need is in the box and it'll work immediately. So there's one small issue with this. It's the cable. Um, it's <laughs> literally, this is bloody tiny. So much of being able to have this on a bedside table or something to charge at night. Yeah, that will not happen. Um, it's really short. And there you have it. That is my unboxing of the Oculus Quest 2. I really, really like this. I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to get it all set up with virtual desktop. And I also can't wait to play the new Walking Dead game. There's a new Walking Dead Saints and Sinners game that looks really good on here. But mainly, I just want to play Blade and Sorcery because that game's bloody amazing. Please port it to Quest. Thank you. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Are you going to be picking up the Oculus Quest. And if you are, what games are you excited about? Also, what do you want me to play on the channel? I have access to the entire PC library of VR games and I also have access to the Oculus Store, of course, so we can try and do something fun. I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, thank you, Pixel, for your first appearance. You've been absolutely bloody brilliant. Do you want a copy of Chameleon on the PC? Oh, oh, you should play this game, it's really good. Hey, GOG, how about adding this to the library, eh? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, but un who the bloody hell are you? What's up?